Hello. Can you hear me? Yes, yes, teacher. Yes. Excellent. I'm fine, thank you. How are you? Fine too. Great, I'm happy to hear that. Welcome everybody. We have uh, Jessica Rosales, Marvin Joseph Salazar, Rodrigo Daniel Melendez. Let's see, Marvin Joseph. Yeah, I mentioned him, <laughs> sorry. Rebecca Estefania and Ciro Mira. So everybody, welcome once again to this class. We're going to begin. Um, and I'm going to start, or I'm going to share the screen with you. Just give me a second. Okay, we are there. Screen one, let's share. Okay, can you see the screen I'm sharing? Excellent. All right. Well, um, let's begin, everybody. Welcome once again. This is Inglés Intermedio, Módulo 3, and that's me, Ivan Doñan, at your service. This is Intermediate 3, Session 9, and it's September 20th, 2022, or 2022, as you prefer. So we're going to begin, and um, we're going to do some things today, several things. The first one is by the end of this class, participants will learn to use relative clauses in order to join two ideas into one. We have one more exercise. First, we're going to have a short review and then the final exercise, okay? And after that, we're going to move into the exercises from section four, okay? Or section four in general. So, quick review. Remember, who is for people but not for things? It's only for people. Okay, a thief is a person who steals things. Do you know anybody who can play the piano? The man who called didn't give his name. And the people who work in the office are very friendly, which is for things, not people. Okay, just remember that. An airplane is a machine which flies and Emma lives in a house which is a hundred years old. Okay, just remember, who is for people, which is for things. Don't use which for people, okay? You say, do you remember the woman who played the piano at the party? That is good. But if you say, do you remember the woman which played the piano at the party? That will be wrong, okay? So don't use it like that. So um, let's see, do we have more people? No, the same people, okay. <laughs> okay, um, and if you don't know if you should use who or which, you can always use that because that is for people or things. If you're not sure, you say, should I use which? Should I use who? I'm not sure. So use that. These are defining relative clauses. When you have defining relative clauses, you can use that, no problem. So you have, for example, an airplane is a machine that flies. Emma lives in a house that is 100 years old. A thief is a person that steals things. Do you know anybody that can play the piano? The man that called didn't give his name. And the people that work in the office are very friendly. Just remember for people who is more common than that. Both are okay, but who is more common? So do you know anybody who can play the piano? That's very good. Do you know anybody that can play the piano? That's also good, but less common, okay? So that's the review right here. We're going to do the exercise now. And uh, I want you to take a look at this. Your turn. Right or wrong, correct the mistakes. You have nine sentences right here. Some are incorrect. They have mistakes. And some others are correct. You don't need to do any change or make any changes. Okay. Take a look. You have, for example, I don't like stories who have unhappy endings. Is this sentence correct? Or do you need to change something? What do you think? For me, it's incorrect. Incorrect. Yeah. What will you change, Ciro? I don't like a story that's unhappy ending. I don't like ending. stories that have unhappy endings, right? Yeah. OK, let's see. I don't know. Good. Yeah, that's right. Okay, Ciro is right. 
Very good. I don't like stories that have unhappy endings, or you can say, I don't like stories which have unhappy endings. Very good. What about number two? What was the name of the person who phoned? Is this sentence correct or incorrect? What do you think? Correct. Jessica says it's correct. Let's see. Yes. That is right. Good. Okay. This is a sentence that has no mistakes. Okay. So uh, that's the idea. You have to read the sentences and you have to determine if they are correct or incorrect. And if they are incorrect, you need to make some changes to correct the sentences. Okay. How many people are there? Let me check. We have uh, eight people, including me. Okay, so um, makes it a bit difficult to form the groups, but I'm going to go into the uh, breakout rooms here for you. Okay, we're going to form three groups. Okay, I'm going to create them. Uh, group number one, you will have Nady, Rebecca, and Sulma. Group two, Josue, Marvin, and Rodrigo, Daniel. And in group three, you have Ciro and Jessica Rosales. Okay, so I'm going to open the breakout rooms. Please join them. And I want you to work in this exercise. As usual, I'm going to send you a screenshot to the WhatsApp chat. So please check that. Here we go. Please, everybody join the breakout rooms now. ¿Cómo sería la tres? A ver. La tres. Sí. Um, pues. Pues sería eh, that, ¿verdad? That, that. Pero, ¿qué significa? Sales. Sales. Cosas. Sales. Ajá. Sells is the verb. You can buy or you can sell. Uh, mm -hmm. Sell means vender. Okay. So do you have number three? Yes, the nearest store which sells bread. Good. Very good. All right. Please continue and I'm going to go into a different room now. See you later. Thank you. Driver, which calls the accident, arrest. Remember the the wish? No, no, he's not here. 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 No, he's not Teacher, en el 4 tenemos una pregunta. Mm -hmm. Ok. 
ahí dice they were, ahí sería that, o sea, lo que quiso poner. Uh -huh. Eso es lo que hay que uh -huh. corregir. Ajá, they, they were, uh -huh. that, o uh -huh. which, ¿verdad? Ajá, uh -huh. exactly. Pues, uh, around me, which were not true, o that were not true. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Very good. Okay, uh, please continue. I'm going to go into a different room now. Number six. Porque es para persona. Y es como una pregunta. ¿va? Yes, sí. Puede llevar that. We live in a world where it's changing all the time. Yes. Vivimos en un mundo que está cambiando. No será allí. Eh, which or does. That. Mm -hmm. Nosotros vivimos en un mundo el cual está cambiando todo el tiempo. What will be the complete sentence? No yet. <laughs> ¿Cuál sería um, la oración um, completa en, en esa? In number seven. Yes. La... Seven. Mm -hmm. We live in a world that is changing all time. That is changing all the time. Correct. Yeah. Very good. Right. Okay. Great. All right. Um, please continue. I'm going to go into a different room now. And then in about okay. three minutes, we're going to finish. See you later. Okay. See you later. Okay. Hello again. Have you finished the exercise? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. All right. Um, I'm going to close the breakout rooms then. Okay, see you in one minute. Okay, everybody, I'm going to close the breakout rooms now. Uh, see you in one minute. Sixty seconds. Thirty seconds. Ten seconds. Okay, we can start now. Um, can you see the screen? Yes, I can. Great. Okay, what about number three? I need a volunteer. Where's the nearest store who sells bread? Is this correct, incorrect? And if it is incorrect, what changes uh, do you have to make? Please, raise your hand. Always remember, siempre acuérdense de apretar ahí el botoncito de la mano. Mm -hmm. Zero. It's incorrect. Okay. What's the correct form? Where the nearest store does sell bread. 
Where is the nearest store that sells bread? Let's check. Correct. Okay. Where's the nearest store that sells bread or which sells bread? Very good. Thank you, Ciro. Number four. Number four. Dan said some things about me, they were not true. Correct or incorrect? Volunteer, please raise your hand. Mm -hmm. Josue. Incorrect. Incorrect. What is the correct form? Dan say something about me that or which were not true. Okay, let's take a look. Dan said some things about me which or that were not true. Okay, very good. Thank you, Josue. And see. Okay, uh, let's take a look. Number five. The driver which caused the accident was arrested. Volunteers, is it correct or incorrect? Raise your hand, please. Sulma. Incorrect. It's incorrect. What's the correct form? Uh, the correct form is um, the driver who caused the accident what was arrested arrested let's see arrested the driver who or that caused the accident was arrested that is correct thank you very much sulma very good okay. okay what about number six do you know the person that took these photos raise your hand please mm-hmm Correct, incorrect. What do you think? Rebecca. He is correct, but we can change for who. Okay, yeah, totally. But in all in all this sentence is correct. But yeah, you're right. You can change that for who. But this sentence is good. Okay, thank you, Rebecca. Very good. All right, what about number seven? We live in a world what is changing all the time. Is this correct or incorrect? What do you think? Mm -hmm. A participant, please. Participant. Only one. That's all I need. One participant. Sandra. Okay, Sandra. Uh, we live in a world that is changing, changing all the time. Changing, right? We live in changing a world that is changing all the time, or we live in a word which is changing all the time. Very good, thank you. Thank you very much. That is the correct form. Now, uh, number eight, I like the dress that you're wearing. How about this one? Correct, incorrect? What do you think? Ciro. For me, it's correct. Correct, let's see. That's right, okay? You don't need to change anything. Good, thank you, Ciro. And number nine, what was the name of the horse what won the race? Is this correct or incorrect? What do you think? Mm -hmm. The last one. Volunteer, please. Okay, Josue. Incorrect. Incorrect. What's the correct form? What was the name of for that or which won the race? Let's see. That's right. Very good. What was the name of the horse that or which won the race? Thank you, Josue. That is correct. Okay, everybody, with this, we finish our lessons on relative clauses. So thank you. And uh, we're going to continue now. Take a look. Next lesson objective. In this class, you will learn vocabulary for describing feelings and gestures. So some vocabulary right here for you. It's not easy. It's not difficult. I'm sorry. It's very easy. It's not difficult. So um, I want you to match the adjectives with the pictures. Okay. So the adjectives are annoyed, bored, confused, disgusted, 
embarrassed, exhausted, frustrated, impatient, irritated, and nervous. What about number one? What adjective do you think goes with picture number one? Irritated. Irritated. Maybe, but there is another one that is better for this picture. Uh huh. Look at her, her face is red. What do you think? What's the right adjective for picture number one? Embarrassed. Embarrassed. Okay, Suma says embarrassed. Mm -hmm. Let's check. That is right. Okay, embarrassed. Yeah. You make a mistake in public. Oh my God. Okay, you feel embarrassed. Okay, very good. Thank you. Okay, just adjusting my chair here. Okay, number two. Um, what about number two? What can you say? Navy. Uh, nervous. Nervous. Let's check. That's right. Okay, the adjective is nervous. Very good. Okay, you see the lady, she's nervous. She's biting her nails. Good. What about number three? What about number three? Confused. Confused. Who said that? <laughs> Quien dijo eso? Ciro, maybe? Okay. Confused. That is correct. Okay, very good. It's confused. That's right. What about number four? Rodrigo, Daniel. Exhausted. Exhausted. Okay, yeah, exhausted. Like at the end of the day, we feel exhausted, right? We want to go to bed, we want to sleep. So that's the word, exhausted. Look at this guy, he looks very tired. Thank you. What about number five? Mm -hmm. Disgusted. Disgusted. Mm, no, it's not disgusted. But thank you. Rebecca? Annoyed. Annoyed. That's right. This little guy right here, he is annoyed. What's the meaning of annoyed? Molesto. Molesto. Uh -huh. Molesto. What about the lady in number six? Navy. Irritate. Impatient. Uh, impatient. Well, uh, we have two possibilities, right? Uh, Navy says impatient and Ciro says irritated. Let's see. Let's take a look. Sexually irritated. Okay, she's angry. Okay, when a person is irritated, the person is angry. Okay, well, thanks for your participation. Always remember when you want to participate, raise the hand. What about number seven? What about number seven? Mm -hmm. Number seven? Bored. Bored. Mm, no, nah, not really. But thank you for participating. Yeah. Rebecca. Disgusted. Disgusted. Correct. Okay. This person is disgusted. Ugh. Okay. That's the meaning of disgusted. Asqueado. Okay. Good. <laughs> That's disgusted. What about number eight? Navy. Frustrated. 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 Yeah, this person is frustrated. Okay. All right. Thank you very much. What about number nine? What's the word for that? Impatient. Impatient. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's the word. Impatient. And uh, number 10? What's number 10? Bored. Bored. Okay. Bored. That's the word. Bored. Very good. 
Okay, now you have the vocabulary right here. I'm going to say the words so that you can uh, practice the pronunciation in your house, again, with your microphone off. I'm just going to say the words, and in your house, please repeat the words, okay? Here I go. Number one, embarrassed. Embarrassed. It's embarrassed, okay. Number two, nervous. Nervous. Number three, confused. Confused. Number four, exhausted. Number five, annoyed. Number six, irritated. Number seven, disgusted. Number eight, frustrated. Number nine, impatient. And number 10, bored. Okay. Do you have any questions about the vocabulary before we continue? No questions? No question, teacher. No questions. Okay, everything is clear. Thank you. All right, let's continue. Next exercise. Your turn. Match the people with the sentences. So uh, this is part of the vocabulary we're going to study today. The sentences are, she's biting her nails. Number two, she's rolling her eyes. Number three, he's scratching his head. Number four, he's tapping his foot. Number five, she's twirling her hair. Number six, she's wrinkling her nose. What is this one, the first one? One, two, three, four, five, or six. Which number is the first picture right here? Rodrigo Daniel. Number three. Number three, he's scratching his head. Let's check. That's right. Okay, the first one is he's scratching his head. When do people scratch their heads? What uh, word does it represent in this case? But when a person is scratching his head, that means that this person is. ¿Cómo se siente la persona? Huh? Rodrigo Daniel? Confused. Confused. Okay. That's right. Yeah, confused. Correct. The person is confused. When you're scratching your head, you feel confused. Huh? Okay. What about the next one right here? What is it? Sulma. Number five. Okay. Uh, Sulma? What uh, image, teacher? No, no, we call this one, the second one. Mm -hmm. No, 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 She's writing her hair. She's uh, twirling her hair. Okay, twirling, that's right. Mm -hmm. Very good. Está jugando con su cabello. Okay, good. What about the next one? What do you have? Siempre, siempre recordemos eh, levantar la mano. Okay. Uh, Josué. Um, number four. He's tapping his foot. Okay, he's tapping his foot. His foot, I'm sorry. He's tapping his foot. Like you see this guy right here. He's tapping his foot. How does this person feel? Um, impatient. Impatient. That's right. Okay. He's tapping his foot. Very good. What about this lady right here? I think it's a lady. <laughs> Navy, please. Uh, number six. Number six. She's wrinkling her nose. That's right. That means she's wrinkling her nose. Okay, very good. Thank you, Nady. Uh, what about the next one? Sandra. Uh, number uh, two, she's rolling her eyes. She's rolling her eyes. Okay, her yeah, eyes. that's right. She's rolling her eyes. She's like, okay. She's rolling her eyes right there. Very good. Maybe she's annoyed. I don't know. And the last one, very easy. The only one left. What is that? 
Mm -hmm. Maritza. Guam. Mm -hmm. She is biting her nails. She is biting her nails. Okay. She's biting her nails. How does she feel? How does this lady feel? Nervous. 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 Yeah. When you're Nervous. biting your nails, you're nervous. Okay. Or scared. Okay. Very good. There you go. Those are the expressions. I'm going to read them. And if you want to repeat that at home, you can do it. Number three is he's scratching his head. Number five, she's twirling her hair. Number four, he's tapping his foot. Number six, she's wrinkling her nose. Number two, she's rolling her eyes. And number one, she's biting her nails. That's good. Okay, we finished. That's the vocabulary. And now we have to study a little grammar that's in the lesson. So uh, that was uh, section 4.1, feelings and gestures for you. Uh, remember, you can always access it. Oh, I forgot this time to open the platform. I'm just going to open it. Just give me a moment. Well, it goes. All right, lesson objective. In this class, you will listen, practice, and learn about body language using models and adverbs. We did this. So there's a conversation right here, everybody. This is 4.3. Just let me get to that part. Just a moment. Internet is a little bit slow today. Okay, there it is. Okay, that was section, uh, yeah, we have this, the lesson objective and the conversation. Have you met Raj? What about this? There's a video that I want you to watch right there. And uh, we're going to do the exercises, but the exercise is right here. I need two volunteers, okay? Uh, one boy, one girl to help me read this conversation, please. Who wants to participate? Ciro, Ciro, you'll be Ron. And Sulma, you'll be Emily. Okay, let's read the conversation, please. Okay. Have you met Rab, the student from India? No, I haven't. Well, he seemed really nice, but there one thing I noticed he moved his hair from side to side. When you talk to him, you know like this? Maybe it means he doesn't understand you. No, I don't think so. Or it could mean he doesn't agree with you. Peter and Peter. Actually, people from India sometimes move their hair from side to side when they agree with you. Oh, so that's what it means. Se me fue ahí la piscucha un poquito porque en realidad había tres personas. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Al final, no sé, Peter, Peter, fue, fue Peter y Ron. Doble uh, papel. Okay. okay, thank you. Thank you very much. So I'm going to read the conversation. Ron says, have you met Raj, the student from India? Emily says, no, I haven't. Ron says, well, he seems really nice, but there is one thing I noticed. He moves his head from side to side when you talk to him, you know, like this. Emily says, maybe it means he doesn't understand you. Ron says, no, I don't think so. Then Emily says, or it could mean he doesn't agree with you. Then Peter says, actually, de hecho, actually people from India sometimes move their heads from side to side when they agree with you. And Ron says, oh, so that's what it means. 
Okay, before we continue, do you have any questions about the vocabulary in the conversation? Mm -hmm. Sandra. Este, what is the pronoun not, not, not I, ¿cómo es? This word? Yes. Okay, the pronunciation is noticed. Noticed. Mm -hmm. Noticed. Oh, there is one thing you. I noticed. Uh -huh. You're welcome. Hay una cosa que en lo que me fijé, right? I noticed. Que vi, me fijé. Okay, good. Any other questions about vocabulary or pronunciation? No questions? No question. Okay. All right. Good. Well, in this class, you will listen, practice, and learn about body language using models and adverbs. In this class, just models, okay, but not adverbs. That's tomorrow. That's the lesson objective 4.4. So, everybody, take a look at this. This is in the video that's on uh, section 1.4. Well, this is the lesson objective right here. There is section 1.5, okay? Again, there's the video explained by Miss Jessica, okay? I uh, recommend you watch it. It's a very nice video and she explains it very well. And uh, we're going to expand on this explanation right here. Take a look. We use these models to talk about possibility. Models are might, may, could, must, some of these models express slight possibility. The model must expresses strong possibility, okay? But don't worry, we're going to study this in, <clears throat> sorry, in detail right now. Take a look. First, we're going to start with may and might. And there's a conversation right here. This person is asking, where is Ben? Benjamin, I haven't seen him today, where's Ben? He says, he may be in his office. <clears throat> Maybe he's there. And this guy says, ask Kate. She might know. Maybe she knows. So we use may or might to say that something is possible. Okay. These are models and they express possibility. Now, something that we need to know about models is that they follow some rules. Los models siguen ciertas reglas. Ya les voy a indicar cómo es. Take a look at this. We have model verbs. Some of these model verbs include may, might, could, must, should, can, will, etc. Okay. So there is a rule about these model verbs. And the rule is, they are always followed by a verb in base form. Esa es la regla de estos. Siempre un model como may, might, could, must, should, can, will, y hay otros, siempre Eh, le sigue un verbo en forma base, siempre en forma base, nunca en otra forma. Ok, por ejemplo, si vemos acá, where is Ben? He may be in his office. Decimos, he may, there's the model, y luego un verbo en forma base. ¿Y cuál es la forma base del verb be? Be, nada más. El verb, eh, la forma base del verbo es el verbo sin modificar de ninguna manera. ¿Verdad? Si usted ya me dice, por ejemplo, el verb be is, ya no es la forma base. Es el verb be, pero ya no es la forma base. Si me dice am, siempre es el verb be, pero ya no es la forma base. Si me dice are, siempre es el verb be, pero no la forma base. Lo mismo pasa con was, where. Todos estos son el verb be, pero es como si ya estuviera conjugado. 
¿verdad? No es la forma base. La forma base del verb be es be. Es el verbo sin ningún cambio. He may be in his office. ¿Qué decía el segundo ejemplo? Ask Kate. She might know. She might know. Might is the model. No is the verb. What is the base form of the verb no? No. Ok. Si usted le pone she might knows porque dice ah, porque es she. No, eso estaría incorrecto. Sería she might know y nada más. Después de un model, siempre, siempre, siempre va un verbo en su forma base. Otra cuestión que es importante saber sobre los models es que no tienen una forma especial para las terceras personas. O sea que yo puedo decir I may go pero si pongo he el modo siempre tiene la misma forma. He may go. Nunca le vamos a poner una S por ejemplo porque dice ah es may. No, nada que ver. Es he may go. Y así va. Entonces las dos reglas que tenemos que recordar. Número uno. Los modos siempre, a los modos siempre les sigue un verbo en forma base. Siempre en forma base. Regla número dos. Los modos no tienen una forma especial para las terceras personas en singular. O sea, cuando es he, she, it, no tienen una forma en especial. Es la misma para todos. ¿Ok? Entonces esas son dos reglas sobre los modos que siempre tenemos que recordar. So, take a look. May and might. We use may or might to say that something is possible. Okay? It may be true. Or it might be true. Puede que sea cierto o podría ser cierto. It's only a possibility. She might know. Puede que ella sepa o tal vez ella sepa. Right? She may know. It's the same idea. Ahora, ¿cuándo ocupamos may y cuándo ocupamos might? En la opinión de algunas personas son intercambiables. Otras personas opinan que might es un poquito más improbable, pero un poquitito. ¿Ok? Si usted dice she might know or she may know, casi que el significado es idéntico. Pero hay gente que dice might es un poco menos probable. Así que, pero realmente son prácticamente intercambiables. Ok. It may be true. It might be true. She might know. She may know. Ok. The negative forms are may not and might not. Cuidado. Otra cosa que tenemos que saber sobre los modos es que los modos son verbos auxiliares, así que no vamos a utilizar otro auxiliar. No le vamos a poner don't o doesn't o did or didn't ni nada a estos, porque estos ya son auxiliares. Así que su forma en negativo es bien sencilla, solo le pone not y luego sigue el verbo en forma base y ya estuvo, ya tiene su forma negativa. Ok, you have this. It may not be true. That means perhaps, o sea, tal vez, perhaps it isn't true. She might not know. Perhaps she doesn't know. Puede que no lo sepa, right? She might not know. What is the structure right here? Take a look. You use the subjects. I, you, he, she, it, we, or they. Recuerde que es lo mismo sin importar ¿Qué sujeto sea? No hay formas especiales para la tercera persona. You use may or might. If the sentence is negative, you need to add not. And after that, the verb in base form. For example, it may be true. He may be in his office, etc. She might know. They might work. You might want, etc. Okay? Just remember this. It's very important. May and might. We use may and might to say that something is 
possible. ¿Ok? No estamos seguros. Solo estamos diciendo que es posible. Tal vez, tal vez es cierto. Tal vez no, no sabemos. Before we continue, do you understand? Do you have any questions? Questions about this? No questions? No question, teacher. No, no se me han dormido todavía. No, okay. All right, no questions. I'm wake up. I'm wake. You had you had some coffee before the class. Good. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's continue. Your turn. Vamos a hacer este ejercicio. Okay, I'm going to uh, form some new breakout rooms because I have 15 participants, so seven groups. Let's see. I'm going to create them again. Seven groups now. Here we go. Group number one, we have Erasmo Perla, Rodrigo Daniel. Uh, in group two or room two, we have Nady Ivis and Rebecca Estefania. In room three, we have Ciro Mira and Josué Rivas. Room four, we will have Maritza Guadalupe and Sandra Patricia. Room five, we have Jessica Rosales and Marvin Joseph. Room six, we have Diego Anthony and Zulma Beatriz. And in room seven, un quedó solo Rodrigo Antonio. Lo vamos a poner entonces con. Ah, bueno, alguien. Aparentemente perdió conexión a último momento. Vamos a ponerlo entonces en el, la sala 4. Ok, here we go. I'm going to open the breakout rooms. Please, everybody, join the rooms now. Very easy exercise, everybody. So um, let's do it. I'm going to join the groups now. Hello? Hello, Tisha. Okay. Uh, are you working in pairs or individually? <laughs> Eh, no sé si el compañero tiene un problema con el micrófono porque parece ah, que lo tiene activado, pero no. De veras. No se oye. Uh, Mr. Perla, can you hear me? Mr. Perla. Híjole, creo que, bueno, probablemente sí haya un problema ahí. Ok, uh, sorry about that. <laughs> Do you have number one, uh, Rodrigo? Uh, maybe. <laughs> okay. Dice, do you know where Helen is? Mm -hmm. I'm not sure. She might, might, might be in her room. Mm -hmm. That's right. Very good. Okay, let's continue with the rest of the exercise. I'm going into a different room now. Okay, Tish. La primera podría ser. She might be in the room. Ajá, sí. La segunda, entonces. ¿Verdad? Sí. Might be in her room. She might be Brazilian. Se podría dejar para la tercera. Uh -huh.
Thanks. Yeah. Maybe Tom. Sí, podría ser de Tom. Maybe Tom. Uh -huh. Maybe Tom. Maybe Tom. Uh, it, it, number it, four. It, 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 it may be Tom. Mm -hmm. Maybe Tom. Which number? Uh, four. Number four. That the is which correct. Phone is this is not Thai. It's maybe Tom. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The pronunciation is whose phone is this? The king has the 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 telephone. Say like, hey, whose phone is this? Okay. It's not mine. It may be Tom's. Interrogate mark. <laughs> uh, the, there is the question mark. Yeah, question mark. Uh -huh. Question okay. mark. Yeah, that's right. Question mark. Okay. I'm going into a different room now. See you later. Okay. Bye. Del cuarto. Ajá, todo. Saludos. Mamen, please. Hello, teacher. Hello. <laughs> finished, teacher. Have you finished? Finished. Yes. Okay, just uh, let's see. Okay, take a look. Uh, do you have number four? Maybe Thomas. Javier, May Javier. Sí. Okay, you have, whose phone is this? It's not mine. It may be Thomas. It may be, Tom's. Thomas. It may Tom's. be it might be, may be Tom's. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, so I'm going into a different room now. Okay. Okay, thank you. Hello, have you finished the exercise? Yes, teacher, we're finished. Okay, what do you have in number three? Mm -hmm. Do you have number three? Hello? Hello, teacher. Uh, do you have the answer to number three? Yes. Okay. Where, where are those people from? Where are those I, people from? Uh huh. I don't know the. They might be Brazilian. Mm -hmm. I don't know. They might be Brazilian. Correct. Very good. I'm going to go into a different room now. See you in a few minutes. Yes. Hello, have you have you finished the exercise? Yes, teacher. Okay. Do you yes. have number five? Number five is my now. Mm -hmm. Can you read the whole conversation? Okay. Do you know any anyone who was no. who has who has do you know anyone who has a key to his door? Mm -hmm. A That's key. A... Do you know anyone who has a key uh -huh, to this door? And then Rachel. Rachel might know, but I'm not sure. Rachel might know, but I'm not yes. sure. Mm, it's a different one, actually. It's distinta. O podría ser Rachel might have one. Mm -hmm. uh -huh, yes. Have one. Yeah, Rachel might have okay. one. Correct. But I'm not sure. Mm 
Puede que Rachel tenga una, pero no sé. Let's... Ok, no estoy seguro. Ok, good. I'm going to leave the room now and I'm going to close the breakout rooms. See you in one minute. Ok. Ok, everybody, I'm going to close the breakout rooms now and see you in one minute. Forty five seconds. Thirty seconds. Don't worry. Five seconds. Okay, yes. everybody, welcome again. Um, your turn, complete the sentences with phrases from the box. Okay, should be with phrases from the box. Make, let me make a small correction right there. With, okay. The phrases from the box. Okay, so um, number one, I'm going to read A every time and then I need volunteers to help me read B. Okay, Ciro is the first one. Number one, do you know where Helen is? I'm not sure. She might be in her, her room. She might be in her room. That's right. Very yeah. good. Thank you, Ciro. Number two, volunteer. Please. Who wants to participate? Raise your hand, please. Sandra, and then Josue for number three. Okay, Sandra, number two is yours. Is there a bookstore near here? I'm not sure, but ask Anna. She, she might know. She might know. Correct. Very good. Thank you, Sandra. Um, then you have number three. Uh, ¿Quién era? <laughs> ¿Que me iba a participar? Ah, Josué. Okay, Josué, number three. Where are those people from? I don't know. They may be Brazilian. They might be Brazilian. Okay. Might be, might be Brazilian. Okay. They might be Brazilian. Puede que sean brasileños o podrían ser brasileños. Okay, thank you very much. Number four, raise your hand, please. Nady, whose phone is this? It's not mine. It's maybe Tom's. It may be Tom's. Okay. Puede que sea de Tom. O puede ser de Tom. Thank you, Nady. Very good. And number five, volunteer. The last one. Mm-hmm. Ciro, okay. Do you know anyone who has a key to this door? Uh, I think your microphone is uh, off. I'm sorry. Rachel might have one. But? <laughs> Le faltó ahí un... Un poquito de la frase, but I'm uh, not sure. Uh -huh. I'm not sure. Okay. okay, thank you. So Rachel might have one, but I'm not sure. Okay, all right, everybody. Uh, that's it today for today. Um, siempre recordemos, tendríamos que ir ya haciendo todo esto, ¿verdad? Lesson objective, tendría que estar ya, o oh, más esta noche o más tarde mañana, ¿verdad? Tendría que estar completo. Luego, feelings and gestures, que es el 4.1. Luego, lesson objective, solo es el objetivo. The conversation, ya lo vimos, pero está el video. Estaría bueno que lo pongan también. Lesson objective and models and adverbs. 
Necesito que hasta el 4.5, por lo menos ya esté completo. Hasta ese punto prácticamente no hay ejercicios aún, solo es teoría. Pero nosotros vamos a ir viendo el uso de estos modos ya mañana con un poquito más de detenimiento. Hoy solamente hemos visto Made en Made. In made. Cisco, Bedur, y mañana lo veremos el resto con, con más atención. Ok, so thank you very much and uh, I will see you tomorrow at 8. See you, teacher. Thank you. Take good care. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Bye, teacher. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Bye.